Welcome to the Seventh-day Adventist Theological Seminary Spring 2020 graduation celebration. Cordial congratulations to each one of you, our master and doctoral graduates. Also, a warm welcome to your spouses, families, and friends. I am proud of you, seminarians. You did it! Your long seminary journey is behind you. Now you can celebrate, even though under different circumstances, remotely, and not here in the beautiful campus of Andrews University. God was good to you and proved his faithfulness, and we praise him for it. When you arrived at the seminary several years ago, in my first devotional, you would have heard from me, I cited God's powerful promise to you for your seminary journey. Now, at the end of your studies, I would like to remind you again of this special promise. God proclaims in Isaiah 41, 13, I am the Lord your God, who took you by your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. I hope that this promise brought encouragement to you when you were here and maybe when you were down. And I pray that it will continue to be a joyful assurance of God's presence and help in the days ahead of you. Now, as a part of this graduation celebration, you will see your picture with a few words of commendation from your program director. Enjoy it. Once again, congratulations, and God bless you richly, that you may be a tremendous blessing for people around you. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we praise you for all our seminary graduates who successfully finished their studies. You were merciful, kind, and faithful to them. You granted them wisdom, concentration, good memory, your presence, and fresh grace. Please bless them abundantly, that they be a blessing for their spouses, children, family, friends, and your church. Help them to be sensitive to the needs of other people and to your leadership, that they do all things in harmony with your will and according to to your vision for them, that they can fulfill your excellent purposes in and through their life of service. May they use their knowledge, skills, and now even new titles to bring glory to your name. May they are your instruments of love, joy, and peace to go and to change the world for you by your grace. We pray for all of this in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Graduates, I know this is not how you had imagined your graduation a few months ago, and I'm sorry it is like this. But while it is, we still want to make sure we recognize and congratulate you on this date. That will not prevent a grand celebration when we can all get together. But for now, please enjoy the recognition and celebrations of this weekend. But first, I want to share a few thoughts with you. And nothing for these few moments about the virus that has so overtaken our lives. I want to start with a question. How do you want to be defined? Not an identity question, that is critical, but a character question. Not even a what have you done or achieved question. A character question. If you were to ask your friends, your peers, your teachers, your colleagues, your boss, what three phrases describe me, what would they say? Would there be a consistent pattern? Would they focus on character, or would they use other reference points? 
The strange thing about when others define you is that sometimes they define you as what they want you to be. Uh, take Jesus, for example. Many wanted him to be an earthly king, to save them from their oppression. And so as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, it was the shouts of glory, their anticipated glory, and a change in the frame of their world. But when you are defined that way, you will always disappoint because you cannot live effectively being what others want you to be. Certainly Jesus disappointed many of his followers and he ended up crucified alone from a human perspective. And sometimes you are defined by what you don't do that others want you to do. So the children of Israel moaned and complained to Moses because of their struggles in the wilderness. He was leading them into the promised land, but he was judged and defined by their present experience. And so they were angry with him. The hard reality is that we will never be able to meet the multiple expectation of others, however hard we try. When we live and work that way, we live in anxiousness and disappointment. Today, you graduate. That is a, a wonderful achievement, and it may meet the expectations of some important people. But I would like to suggest to you that there is something more important than your well-deserved diploma, even if that opens up doors for your future. What is more important still is the character you have shown in getting to this point, in achieving this success, and the character you will show as a graduate. So now you will have a BA, a BSc, MDiv, PhD, or other letters after your name. But I wish we could also add character words too, like compassionate, honest, faithful. We can't do that. But I want you to know that eventually it is those words that will define you. And I hope that those words will reflect the best this university offers. And so I will choose two texts to leave with you that sum up what, as president, I have tried to share with you as important. Micah 6, verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. And 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Blessings to each of you as you take your degrees and your character into the world to make a difference.
Now graduates, in our usual service at this time, the graduate or undergraduate dean would present you as a class and confirm that everything has been checked and you have met the requirements for graduation. Please assume that as said. Then come the most critical words of graduation. Here they are. Now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees as president of Andrews University, and by virtue of the charter of the university incorporated under the laws of the state of Michigan authorizing this institution to grant degrees, and upon the recommendation of the faculties, I confer on the candidates who have met all requirements of their respective courses of study the degrees for which they are recommended. Class of 2020, you are graduated.
I would like now to introduce you to the 2020 graduates from the Seventh-day Adventist Theological Seminary. First, students receiving graduate degrees. David Daniel Acosta Doria. Tanya Lizette Acuna. Bright Akwasi Agiamang Ba. Gimps Astim. Jenner Jackson Becerra. David Benjamin. Daniel Daquan Bennett. Daryl Keith Bentley. Roberto Jesus Blanco. Lexius Brenny. Caitlin Elizabeth Campbell. Juan Andres Cancino Castillo. Brian Joseph Capellas. Seong Jin Cho. Vladimir Klimako. Erica Morgan Cosgrove. Jonathan Lemuel Cross. Ivan Roel Cruz Rodriguez. Edwin Francisco de Pala Adon. Angel Abdiel del Toro. Roxanne Marie Del Valle. Byron Robert Durant. Michael Wayne Dyson. Elizabeth Emswiller. Blake Andrew Engelhart. Tina Erico. Jean Etienne. David Fernandez. Luis Angel Filpo.
Claudio Fuentes Torres. Cherie Leon Gaton. Christian Genau. Jacob Daniel Gibbs. Gerardo Sanchez Gomez. Lisandra Idalis Gonzalez. Milton Doel Gonzalez. Frederick Leon Grant. Sarah Ann Grover. Esam Habib. Cody Floyd Harmon. Nicole Harvey Williams. Hune Asagawa. Jennifer Nicole Hernandez. Fredo Ignas. Michael Jerome Johnson. Daryl Jordan. Ne Coot. Hyunju Kim. Dmitri Ruvimovich Kocheryavenko. Marcus Kutschbach. Ju Hyong Lee. Luis Linan Oliveira. Eric Andre Lau. Sei Shi Lu. Jacqueline Denise Mack. David Maldonado. Frida Juliana Marson. Ricardo Gaston Mena. Keith Irving Miller.
Janelle Alicia Munro. Madier Alves Montero. Ludwig Morales. Abel Morobel. Adrian Lamont Murray. Bastian Lesla Ogon. Ariel Padron. Jose Antonio Pagan. Jean Trefield Parisien. Jerry D. Pinzon. Robert Alexander Portillo. Joseph Quau. Angel Alberto Ramirez Valencia. Joel Rauer. Michelle Rodriguez. Josue Israel Sanchez. Neil Roy Santos. Marcus Shore. Marilyn Caez Scott. Diego Morera da Silva. Stephen Alexander Silva. Samuel Stephen Smith. Travis Lee Smith. Victor Sneed. Hawkins and Thayinda Soko. Adrian Solis. Rafael Fabian Soto. Eric Corey Sweeting. David J. Thorpe. Joel Toro Callejas.
Aubrey Lynn Toop. Moises B. Urbina. Andrew Abel Vargas. Dwayne James Vaughn. William A. Washington. Ulrich Durrani Watson. Sinel Ray Williams. Byron Orlando Wright. Students with graduate degrees conferred on December 31, 2019. Andrew Mitchell Anobil. Rumi J. Beckbeck. Jared Isaac Calloway. Michael Marcel Corbell. Michel-Ange Duchesne. Sullivan Dutra. Pierre George Robert Philippou. Robert S. Falkenberg. Seth Elliot Gaskin. Solomon Papi Johnson. Sean Kelly. Anthony Francis Kern. Ju Yong Kim. Song Min Kim. Bodan Kotik. David Ernesto Machado. John Edvard Mezonov. Heather Ann Merizan. Michael Alexander Miller. Kevin Alvin Moreno. Pavel Mormin. Gustavo Alejandro Mujica Poque.
Coileen Ann Norris. Danny Leroy Ross. Valerie Sajin. Christopher David Sanford. Brian Sewald Rigoni. Timothy Selinger. Christopher Moises Suarez Rojas. David I. Theodore. Constantinos Theophilactidis. Jared David Thomas. Paul Anthony Turner. Dnieper Alahin Vega Villalobos. Pierre Antoine Vincent. Jacob Ross Wilkinson. Students receiving doctoral degrees. Doctor of Ministry. Nathaniel Eric Elias. Deidre Lauren Griffith. Arthur Donta Jennings. Troy Solomon Levy. Joseph Salajan. Joshua William Voigt. Dwayne Wilson. Doctor of Missiology. Cliffman Lloyd Shamirudin. Samuel Telemac. Doctor of Philosophy. Arlen Sunshine Drew. Students with doctoral degrees conferred on December 31, 2019. Hector Marin Garcia Marin. Gennady Gerleanu. Pavel Goya. Simon Royce Liversidge.
Jorge Alberto Matacerdas. Lyle Milton Notice. Lena Valerie Taves. Michael Frederick Yonker. Mario Bursico. Efer Gonzaga Caroro. Philip Randall Link. Evanson Etienne Louisjean Alexandra Frances Rani Jude V. Senatus And now, graduates, I want to share the President's charge, my last words to you. Graduates of Andrews University, you now start a new chapter in your personal and professional life. I would ask you to approach this particular chapter with clarity of purpose and commitment to values and faith that represent Andrews University, your alma mater. As a university, we claim world changes made here. You are now poised to show the truth of that claim. While at this university, you have engaged with your faculty and staff who have chosen to be both Christians and exemplary professionals. They have invited you and your peers to consistently live out your faith with relevance and integrity. They have encouraged you to reach the highest goals academically and professionally. And today, I ask you to embrace the opportunities and challenges that await you with passion and conviction. Carry with you the best of all that you have learned here and use your increased knowledge and skills to add meaningful quality and spiritual significance to this world. You leave here with a degree but this is certainly not the end of your learning. Continue to seek honestly for the truth. Desire to keep learning more of God's kingdom. Search for opportunities where you can bring freshness, healing and creativity. And advance your profession with enthusiasm and integrity. Live with warmth, compassion and energy. And with all of this, Always remember to be still and hear the gentle, guiding whisper of God. So I charge you, as graduates of Andrews University, to live by these values and ideals. And may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit go with you always. Congratulations, graduates. As your alumni director, I'm here to remind you that you'll always be part of the Andrews family. You've been a student for a few years now, but you will be an alum for life. Andrews alumni share a strong common bond, the Andrews experience. Your lasting friendships, the opportunities to seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and to change the world are now the foundation of your lifelong connection with Andrews. So today, marks the end of one relationship and the beginning of another. This transition from student to graduate makes you a distinctive partner in the future of Andrews. Most importantly, 
Your continued involvement will help shape this university for your children and the generations of students who will follow in your footsteps. Today, as you graduate, I encourage you to look back upon your memories of Andrews and to look forward to your new connections as alumni. Andrews University is proud to support a strong alumni network. In fact, alumni are represented in every state and territory in the U.S. and 177 different countries worldwide. And now, on behalf of more than 95,000 alumni around the world, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on your graduation today and to welcome you into the Andrews University Alumni Association. You did it. Congratulations. May God richly bless you. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we pause and we bow before you in acknowledgement that you have been with our students, your sons and your daughters, during their journey here at Andrews University. And Father, here at Andrews, they were taught by the best faculty. They have forged lasting friendships. They have deepened their faith in you and their commitment to your cause. In their quest for knowledge, they drank deeply from the fountains of truth. As they affirmed their faith, we have seen them mature in their relationships with you. They have come to know you as a friend. And now they're leaving fully equipped to change their world. Father, grant them courage to always do what's right, not just what's easy or what's popular. Grant them the grace to see the good in others and to serve others without regard to race, class, gender, or socioeconomic status. Grant them the wisdom to make wise choices. And may all their choices honor you. Give them a spirit of discernment so that they can easily distinguish between right and wrong, and to always do what is right. And now, I commit them to you, to the word of your grace, which will build them up and give them an inheritance among your faithful people. Amen. And now, as you set forth, we commit you to the merciful protection of God. And we especially ask the prayers of the people of God that his blessings may attend you in this sacred work. Amen. <laughs>